Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I got some new groundbreaking and exciting news as there is a project that is called GPT RPG, which is a repository and a project that consists of two main components. You have an RPG like environment and an AI agent that is fully autonomous and operating through this RPG like environment with the connection of OpenAI's API. Now, the purpose of this project is to serve as a proof of concept for using OpenAI's GPT 3.5 language model in a role-playing setting. So this is actually absolutely amazing guys because we're basically getting closer to having your own AGI within these virtual environments and this is something that we're going to be showcasing in today's video where we're going to deep a little bit more into showcasing you a little bit about the actual concept of this game by looking at the developer's message as well as showcasing you how you can actually install it locally on your desktop so with that thought guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go to the world of ai on twitter and give this page a follow i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so basically follow this page and stay up to date with the latest ai news over here and if you guys haven't already it would mean the whole world to me guys if you guys can go subscribe to the world of ai on the youtube page I definitely do so turn on the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly 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 recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely like and benefit from so with that thought let's get right into the video so the rpg like environment provides a virtual world in which the ai agent can interact and make its own decision it basically has its own memory and it's a fully autonomous AI agent that operates within this RPG like environment. While there might be specific details of the environment that are not actually provided yet, it is imagined that it is a digital realm where the actual look characters locations quests and items can be dealt with fully autonomously now this environment is designed to be compatible with the capabilities of an ai agent and allows for a, a dynamic interaction and decision making now with this ai agent it is powered by open ai's api and it serves as a virtual player within this rpg environment it utilizes the advanced natural language processing capabilities of GPT 3.5's model to understand and respond to the game's environment. Now, the AI agent is also able to engage in conversations with non-player characters, as well as navigating through the virtual world, which you can actually complete tasks, acquire resources, and make your own decisions based off the information that is actually provided. Now, the main developer behind this project is Harris, and basically he wanted to create this project to showcase that there's a potential of using advanced language models in interacting with game scenarios. And basically with this AI agent, you're able to have responses as well as actions that are generated in real time based off the input it receives from the actual environment in the RPG environment. Now, it is allowing for more of a dynamic as well as an immersive gameplay experience. So it's not only a groundbreaking news for the AI world, but it's also something that is quite groundbreaking for the gaming world as we're seeing fully autonomous NPCs that are being built in gaming industries as well as in gaming environments. Before we actually move forward with the actual video, I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so that you're going to be able to access it easily. And this will be easy for you to have all the links for what you need to download to actually have this installed locally on your desktop. And that brings me to the next phase of the actual video where I'll showcase how you can actually install it locally on your desktop. So first things first, you're going to have to have an API key. Uh, make sure that it is connected to a credit card or a billing system in which you can actually utilize the 3.5 model. So with that thought, once you have your key generated, make sure you don't share it with anyone. In my case, I'm going to change it around so you don't need to comment or tell me that you should never show your key. But I'm going to be changing this, so don't worry about it. Secondly, you're going to need Git, which is an application that helps you clone repositories on GitHub to your local desktop. Secondly, or thirdly, you're going to need Python, and this is going to be used to help install it. And lastly, you'll need Visual Studio Code as your code editor to input the different API keys that are needed for this application. So with that thought, once you have all these installed, you can go on to the GitHub repository. And what you will need to do first is once you're on here, you need to click on this green button over here, copy this link, 
and then open up command prompt if you have windows and what you want to do next is type in git clone paste the link that you just copied and click enter now if you have a mac or any other like operating system you will then need to follow along with the different command or the powershell that is required for that processing system sorry guys i had a different message pop up over here because i already had it installed but i deleted it so that i can showcase it once again to you guys so once you have it cloned onto your desktop or your computer what you can do next is go into the folder which is cd git gpt rpg and click enter now once you have that done first things first i actually need to talk about is that you need to have node 16.19.0 updated you need to have this installed beforehand so that you're able to actually operate this game now once you have that done what you need to do next is go into visual studio code which is the application we just downloaded and what you will need to do next is open up a new folder and once you have this new folder open up open up the gpt uh sorry the R gpt rpg file which is right over here so you can select it and once you have that selected i'll be right back so i have it loaded and now what i'll do next is go on to open ai's api key section copy this api that you just formulated go into visual studio code then what you will need to do is input your api key so what you'll do is click on agent now click on the env.example file and what you'll do is take out this your key over here and paste your API key. Now once you have that finished, you can then click save. And now that this is finished, you can then start moving forward with the next step. One thing I actually forgot to emphasize is that there's going to be env.example.json file. So what you need to do is take the end and the dot out and then you'll be left with end env.json file so once you have that figured out with you can click save and close this what you'll do next is go into get gpt rpg directory and you will now click install to install all the different types of files that are needed to run this so once we click cd gpt rpg we'll be in this folder and now we'll type in npm install now this is going to take a couple minutes depending on your computer in my case i installed most of the files that are needed so it might be a little bit faster for me so once this is done i'll be right back now once this is done you can then click on copying this command which is npm start and what you will do is click enter once you have copied it into the command prompt and now what this will do it will start starting the actual application on your local host so what you can do is copy this link right here click it over here and it will start loading up once it is done i'll be right back so guys it is officially finished now it's gonna take a little bit longer for this to actually finish loading up but we can see right here you have your agent right here that is fully operating and this is your fully autonomous ai agent that has its own memories and its own tasks and this is something that you can actually play around with and even add on to your own environment with this whole dynamic game and this is one of the cool things about this project guys it's something that is open source so you can actually play around and tweak it to your own preference you can even build on top of it and add your own stuff using your api key so you're basically having your own fully autonomous ai agent downloaded locally on your desktop and this is just absolutely insane guys now if you look at this demo that he's actually creating it's fairly different from what this is and this is because this is the actual early access of this he's currently working on this game and it'll be officially released shortly this year i assume and this is something that i just wanted to showcase because it's quite amazing as to what he has accomplished with this amazing game so now let us actually focus a little bit more about another type of autonomous fully ai agent game and that is this now have you seen this a couple of months ago and this is a generative agent game as well as a showcasing of an interactive simulation of human behaviors of NPCs and basically it refers to a broader concept or an idea that they were actually able to represent as they were deploying and developing an autonomous AI agent that can simulate and mimic human behavior in an interactive manner.
Now, these are agents that can be designed to operate in autopilot mode, as well as making decisions and taking action independently. Now, if you look at this like demo over here you can see that they have their own brain and they do their own things you can see over here there's different people doing different things and these are all npcs that are working on their own like basic behavior that is simultaneously operating we can see over here this person is all the way here doing something he is cleaning now and you have people who are sleeping going to the washroom gardening and it's basically something that they were actually able to create to mimic human behavior so if you guys haven't actually seen this video i highly recommend that you do so because it is really really interesting as to how they were actually able to create this agi world or this fully autonomous virtual world as to having these npcs operate within now you might be asking what is the actual difference between these two different types of simulations well gpt rpg is more of a specific project that combines an rpg like environment with an ai agent that is connected with open ai's api and it's basic primary projective or its objective is to create a proof of concept of using OpenAI's GPT 3.5 model in a role-playing game by having this fully autonomous AI system set and this is something that will be shortly released and it's you're going to be actually able to play with this game and interact with these autonomous AI agents in this game. Whereas the generative agents game or this behavior is something that focuses on different things that represent and mimic human behavior. Now, you might be wondering with GPT RPG, it is more of a specific implementation of an AI agent in the RPG environment. And you're able to have these concept of generate engines that are encompassing a wide range of applications and scenarios. Whereas the generative agents can be employed in various contexts, such as a virtual assistant, chatbot, or even virtual characters in a video game. Their goal is more of something to create a uh, engaging and interactive experience in like a simulating way of making human like behavior so these are some of the differences of these two types of projects which is something that is in the main same scope but in different areas so i highly recommend that you check these two things out now lastly i just want to talk a little bit more about some of the things that they were actually able to do in terms of creating your own environment you can see over here you're able to have the code that tweaks the environment change the map as well as the agents you can add different things and you have something over here which is the upcoming features you're going to be able to support multi-agent support where you're going to have different things or different agents operating simultaneously you're going to have different actions whereas you can see something that they were able to develop is chopping down a tree breaking a rock with a pickaxe and these are some of the things that will be added shortly Another thing to the game that they're going to try to add is hunger, thirst, and different things that affect the actual agent. There's going to be a memory, goals, inventory, and a deployment to the actual web, which is absolutely insane. Now, in summary, guys, this is something that is quite revolutionary. And to be specific, this project is focusing on combining an RPG environment with an AI agent that is fully autonomous and it'll be quite revolutionary in the game world as you're going to start seeing these fully autonomous ai agents operating as npcs in games and not only will this revolutionize the virtual world of ai but it will also affect the gaming industry so with that thought guys i hope you found this video to be quite interesting as to how you can actually play around with gpt rpg so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it it'd mean the whole world to me if you guys can go give world of ai on twitter a follow if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell over here and if you guys haven't subscribed definitely do so on the world of ai there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching definitely check out my previous videos have an amazing day Spread positivity and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.